Hello friends. Today we will see how to load the content data for talent profile using SCM data loader. So content atom which will be required to load the talent profile data. So content atom is nothing but the yellowy on talent profile in section page. So there are different different sections like degree, languages, content uh, competencies. So all these having the content atom, each each uh, section having the content data. So let's see how it look like, right? So first we'll navigate to the any of the person and go to the talent profile page. So we, are, we, are, we'll, we will go to the talent profile. So this is the talent profile and here you can see there are the different sections under the talent profile page. So if you click on the degree add so here degree is nothing but the content atom to load this talent profile. Similarly in the languages also we have the language is the uh, content atom for the languages. So if you see over here languages is the content atom for loading the talent profile atom for languages. So now if you are not uh, if you will load the try to load the uh, content atom for the degree right. So if you click on the add and try to load the BTEC degree, if anyone employ having the BTEC degree, so that is not available in the yellow view. So now we are going to load this BTEC as a content atom for the talent profile atom so that it will be get populated in this yellow view to get load the profile atom for this particular employee, right? So now we will load this BTEC talent profile uh, content atom for the talent profile. So this is the HDL format for the content atom. So it requires the source keys, context name, then contact atom code if any or if you want to provide. So then name, name of that content atom, then atom description, atom description, then date from date to and the content value set. So content value set name is nothing but the yellow V which we tag for that particular content atom. So yellow V having the some value set, right? So that yellow V is tagged to one value set. So that value set name should be which we have to given over here, right? So now we will prepare the HDL. So first metadata is merged, then object name, then as you know our source owner is XX test, then we will give the source system ID is xx test underscore btech which will be the source system id unique for the content and atom then which we are loading the degree so context name will be the degree in caps then if you have the context uh, content atom code then you can give the content atom code or else you can keep it as null then name so what will be the name of that content atom you can give that name right so name is where uh, we, we want to load the BTEC degree. So we'll give the name as BTEC, right? Then atom description, we, uh, if any description you have, you can give the description or else keep it as blank. Then date from, so from which date you want to get effective this particular degree, then you can give that date from and date to till which date you want to get it active. Then content value set name. So how to find this value set name? So uh, this value set name you can find using one query. So I will share those link in description uh, for that. So you will get the, this query how to find the value set name. So I will uh, paste it this query on blog. So content item value set will reside in content tp value sets table. Right. So I will share this query on my blog and give it the description in uh, give it link in the description. So if you uh, run this particular query, we will get the uh, each section wise value set name like establishment, behaviors and degrees. So we will copy this, we will loading the degree content value set. Uh, then we will copy that name of the value set which is the degrees. So likewise, we have prepared our ESDL. Right. So now we will save this ESDL and make it zip and try to import in the fusion system. So now we will make this make it zip file to import that particular zip file to the system. 
so now we'll go to the import and load page so we'll import that particular zip file for the content atom so that btech degree will be available in the content atom degree section so earlier it is not available so after loading this successful load then it will be available for you to load the that btech degree profile atom for any of the employee right so we will load the now we we have imported that content.zip file content atom.zip file so likewise you can prepare multiple data in one content atom file but keep in keep in mind that you have to give the value set name else it will not get populated in your content atom yellow you can find those in atom catalogs but it will not get populated in yellow that's so it is required to get it populated in yellow so that's the reason you have to give the value set name or value set id using that sql query which i will be sharing in my blog and the link will be provided in description of this video right so here you can see content atom is imported successfully so now loading is in process so it's still loading is in process so here you can see our content atom is 100% loaded so it means our btech degree btech content atom is loaded successfully in the system right so now we will see if that particular btech degree is available in the content atom yellow or not for that we will go to the person management query any of the employee so earlier it is not available right btech degree is not available so now we have loaded that btech in as a content atom for profile atom so it should available because it is it has successfully loaded into the system using the sdls so now we'll navigate to the talent page talent and profile so now try to create new degree so if you select the btech over here see you can find that btech degree over here so it means it is populated over here for that you have to give the value set name in the sdl right so in this way you can load multiple content atom using the sdls thanks thanks for watching this video stay tuned bye